Hey guys, it's Jesse from AnalogHype.com, and I'm here to show you guys how to use your DualShock 4 controller on your PC games. Now, you guys are going to need two programs. One of them is an Xbox 360 controller emulator, and the other one is something that we're going to use to edit that controller emulator. And then we're going to have a compatibility list uh, to edit one of those things in the emulator again. So I'll post a link to all, all these three of these web pages in the link to the description below. Anyway, so let's get to it. First thing you're going to want to do is download the 360 emulator as well as this program um, and put them in a place where you're going to remember. I've already done uh, all of that and ironically enough, it's in my DualShock 4 Things controller. It's some place where I remember where everything is and just that kind of stuff. So uh, we're going to we're gonna go into the DualShock Fix 201 folder and that's where you're going to find your Xbox 360 emulator. Now, just extract it to where... Uh, Extract it to where you're going to remember where it is, so I have it in the same folder, just so I don't fiddle around with it or lose it. And then, this folder has two two very important files that we're going to need later on. The zinput1 underscore 3 dot dll file, as well as the xbox360 ce dot gdb file. Take note of those things, we're going to use those later on. So, to actually get them work, to actually get the controller working in your games, we're going to go into your Steam library and uh, choose a game that you want to get this working in. For this demonstration, we're going to use Bioshock Infinite. So you're going to right-click, go to Properties, Local Files, and then Browse Local Files. What we want to do is find where the game's executable is. In this case, it didn't actually take us to, to where the game's executable is. Sometimes it'll do that. So we're going to go into Binaries, Win32. And there you go, Bioshock Infinite's executable is right there. So I already did all the steps before, but I'll delete, I'll delete those files just for demonstration purposes. So we're going to go back here, we're going to copy the emulator application, and paste it right in there. From there, you're going to want to make sure that your DualShock 4 is on. And right here, you're just going to want to click yes once, and yes twice. And then from here, just click next and finish and there you'll have a you'll have a general layout of the xbox 360 controller now start fiddling around with your controller and make sure that uh your computer is picking it up and then at that point you want to go to presets and click on logitech logitech cordless rumble pad 2 click load and save there you're done with the controller emulator for now and then from here you want to open up this file and extract the zinput1 underscore 3 dot dll file as well as the x360ce file right into that folder. So we're going to replace them and there you go. It's a very simple process and you're done. At this point you can jump right into Bioshock Infinite and start playing with your DualShock 4 controller. Now, this won't work for all of your games. There are going to be some games where you're going to have to do a little bit more editing. In this case, we're going to jump into Tomb Raider, because that is one of the games where I found that it didn't actually work. So you're going to go down to Tomb Raider, and there's our Tomb Raider executable file. Now, you're going to want to go through the same process, except as you guys can see here, it's not zinput1 underscore 3, it's actually zinput9 underscore 1 underscore 0. Now, over here, I have the game compatibility list. And as you guys can see here, some of the games um, actually have this input file changed. So just come over here and uh, just check to see if your game is on here. If it's not, and the, the DualShock 4 isn't working after you've done all this input stuff, then chances are you're going to need to do the 9 underscore 1 underscore 0 trick. And it, this is just done by changing the... Uh, by changing the by changing the name of the file. It's a very simple process, just takes two seconds to do. At that point, your DualShock 4 controller should work with uh, whatever game you're trying to get it to work with. So that's really all I have to say for this video. From here, I'm just going to close on out uh, with some games running with my DualShock 4 controller off of Steam. I'm Jesse from AnalogHype.com, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.
Fight!